Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Now today we're going to be talking about the new UGC trend. Some of you guys might have seen this already, but there is something new that people have been creating and they call them UGC thumbnails. Now I just want to say quickly, this isn't really like an official Roblox thing. This is something that UGC creators discovered and I guess they thought it was cool because UGC creators have been copying each other and I'm now noticing loads of new UGC thumbnails. So you're probably wondering how this works. And yeah, I'm going to show you in a second, but I just wanted to make a video about this because some of the thumbnails on these items are a little bit misleading. So I just want to say if you see an item that has a thumbnail, make sure you try it on your avatar before you go and buy it. But yes, let me show you what I'm talking about so I can explain a bit better. So you see this here, transparent shades. You will see it has its own thumbnail. There is a head wearing some shades and it has a pink background. It's looking a little bit pixelated, but that's kind of how they get the trick working. Anyway, if I was to do a 3D view of this item, you can see that's kind of just like a screenshot. Yeah, so what they've done is they've imported a picture onto the accessory to basically give it its own custom thumbnail. Now, I have to admit, this is like incredibly creative. I'm a massive fan of this. I always really appreciate creative stuff on Roblox. But the thing is, guys, with this accessory specifically, it's not really transparent. It's more of like a trick. If you guys didn't know, you can't actually make transparent UDC items. Honestly, I don't know why. I mean, you can get transparent Roblox accessories. But yeah, I guess Roblox just never gave us the ability to. So who made this? Blizzy, maybe? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But what they mean by transparent is tiny little lines, and it kind of gives off a transparent effect. So I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty cool item, but technically it's not really actually transparent. And that's the thing with these UGC thumbnail things. If you ever see one, well yeah, make sure to try it on your avatar before you go ahead and buy it. Here's another one by the same person, so 24 Robux again. Again, they're pretty similar. I guess this is just the white version. Maybe this one's slightly better actually it gives off a nicer effect we also had this one a bow hair clip so let's see how does this work oh this one's really smart because they actually put the uh, thumbnail inside of the accessory yeah i'm a fan of that that's very very clever because i was thinking with some of these items what if you were to use like a uh, headless or something and you could see the little thumbnail well i guess with stuff like this they've sorted it out already that's very clever here's another one blush so what's this then is this like a little face blush thing oh i see how it works okay that's a bit buggy not gonna lie especially if you view a character from a long distance but there you go oh i see so they've put the thumbnail on either side of the blush yeah again pretty clever i think this person right here uh ashes wings i think this was the original person to think of ugc thumbnails so shout out to them they were like the og uh i believe and yeah they made like a uh, little love heart necklace thing with the sort of um image at the bottom so yeah i guess i can show you guys how to make these in blender because honestly it's very very simple so i'll tell you what guys i did make a ugc beanie before i'm gonna add a thumbnail to this i'm just gonna create a very basic thumbnail just for today's video so here you go guys in about i don't know five minutes i came up with this so i put a price on there i put like a little smiley emoji thing obviously i've got a beanie and i've got a face on it normally i would try and make something like really cool but honestly sometimes making thumbnails can take hours but yeah i just came up with this in paint.net i did like a black border just in case i didn't want the image like too zoomed in i didn't want any of it to get cropped off if that makes sense but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go and copy this. And basically what we need to do is we need to paste it onto my accessories texture. Because yeah, the thing is guys, you're going to need to have this in the texture for it to work. Because obviously you can only have one texture per item. So if I just go and place that there and then save it, I think that should be fine. Let me just go and save this. There you go. That should be okay. So back into Blender very quickly. If I go up to the texture paint, oh no, layout. If I go and just replace the texture here. So so if I click on the file folder, um, what did I call it? Beanie texture one? Yeah, that was today. So if I go and open this, then that's going to load in. Wait, I just need to make sure it's selected. Uh, what was it? That should be fine. Now if I go into texture paint, okay, it's there. Oh, I could have made it a bit bigger actually. I didn't realize uh, this bit was there. Okay, maybe I'll adjust it a bit. Now guys, if we go into layouts, we need to add in the thing, which is obviously going to contain the picture. So that little square, we're going to go and add mesh and we're going to add in a plane. So yeah, this plane is basically just like a tiny little square a little base plate in a way we're going to press s on this thing and we're just going to make it a lot smaller and honestly guys you could pretty much hide this wherever you wanted to if i just delete this character just to get him out of the way so then with the plane i'll tell you what you could either put it under the beanie you could put it inside the beanie i'll put it under just for this video so you guys can see a bit clearer how it works so if i was to just go and scale it maybe something like that i kind of need it to match right uh, so then just scale it a bit more yeah i'll have this under the beanie to be fair it might be noticeable it's 
some points. I'm just trying to show you guys clearly how it works. So I could even put it inside and put a texture on it like that. If you guys can see it, where is it? <laughs> I don't know, it's somewhere in there. But yeah, if I wanted it like that, it would also be hidden, so that'd be perfectly fine. So what, would it, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna click on it. We need to go and open the texture. So new, we're just gonna go and look for it. We need to select image texture. Then if we just go and select the same one, so uh, what was it, spray? As you can see, it's loaded in fine. But one thing I've gotta do is actually flip it round because it seems to have inverted it. So just holding control, there you go, that's a bit better. Now I just need to do that again. And there you go. So what I'm gonna do is go into UV editing. Uh, I need to just get a good view on that actually, don't I? Just drag that across, there you go. Basically, I just need to press A to select it on the texture and we're just gonna scale this down. So we're just gonna make it a lot smaller. Oh yeah, this tool is a lot better for scaling. There you go. So we're gonna make it more like a box just so it all fits in. Maybe something like that. Let me just uh, put it about there. You can zoom in. Uh, you can get it as accurate as you want to really. Is that good? Yeah, I kind of like that. So if we go back into layout, there you go. That's how you add an image texture. Now, like I said, guys, if I wanted to put this inside of the mesh, I could do, that's also fine, but I'm just gonna right click and join these together and also make sure it's uh, shaded smooth. And there you go, there's your hat. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm gonna save this as an OBJ. Oh, let me just get one of, one of the materials. There you go. I'm gonna go on file, uh, export OBJ. Let's call it um, beanie with profile picture. There you go. Let's go and export this. And there you go. We can now put this in Roblox Studio and I'll show you how to get it working. So while my studio is just loading, let me show you the plugin that we are going to be using. Now, I've shown you guys this in videos before, but we are going to be using the UGC custom thumbnail tool. This is an official Roblox tool and it basically lets you set thumbnails for your UGC items. Now, obviously when they made this, they weren't really thinking of pictures. They were more thinking of just like positioning the accessory, but it works the same. So make sure you've got this installed if you have UGC access, or maybe you're making an item for somebody else. And yeah, I'll show you how to get it working. So let's get this item in studio. Let's go on insert object. We're going to type in mesh, bring up a mesh part. There you go. That's perfect. Let's go on view properties. Let's go and add in our mesh ID. What did I call it now? Oh, beanie with profile picture. There you go. Let's go and open this. Uh, let's go on no. Let's go and give it a texture as well once it finishes loading. So texture ID, let's go and upload it. Uh, choose file. And and it was this one, the beanie texture. So let's go and open it. Let's go and create it. And hopefully, you guys, this should look pretty good. So if I just close down this, uh, let me just uh, zoom in a bit, then click on the item. Uh, let me just copy it across quickly. Let me just go and stick this on the character properly. Actually, I should probably rotate it around. If I just hold control, just get it right. There you go. It's actually looking quite cool, not gonna lie. So if I go on uh, view and properties, I need to go on the character. So that's this guy. I need to copy his origin position which is this one and I need to paste it on the hats one so origin position paste that on there and that completely um what the hell why did it do that oh whatever let me just drag it up like that I can always just scale it down a bit there you go that's fine whatever <laughs> that works I'm happy with that so what you need to do guys is turn this into an accessory so mesh part let me just rename this to like a beanie or something so beanie one there you go so if we go into plugins I've already got the asset creator so let me just go through this very quickly just to speed run uh so select Select the accessory, beanie, select the character, this guy, it's a hat, classic, um, next, accessory, next, and then I think that's done. So here it is, here's the item. Now, when we're ready to upload this to Roblox, we need to click on it, we need to go on the UGC thumbnail tool, and we need to set the thumbnail. So you can zoom in a bit by holding control, and basically guys, you just position your thumbnail. So maybe something like that, I don't know, I didn't get it quite right, did I? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So if I go and accept it, now I can't really show this bit, but if I was to save it to Roblox, you're gonna see guys, it's got a thumbnail. That is how you add thumbnails onto your accessories. Now, honestly guys, I guess with this item, I could have put it inside, but you know, I just left it on the outside simply for the video. But honestly, I think this is kind of cool. As long as you're a UGC creator, that's not trying to mislead anyone, you know, and you're just trying to set a cool thumbnail on your item. I can't really see anything wrong with that. But I think some UGC creators might put like dominances on thumbnails and things like that. So as always guys, because people are starting to do this, make sure you try the item on your avatar before you actually buy it. But there you go, guys. That is how you make UGC accessory thumbnails. It's something new. It's something creative. I think it's pretty awesome. The one I made ended up being pretty good quality, actually. So, you know, I was kind of happy with that. Obviously, the bigger the square, the better the image quality. And yeah, cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.